Kelly here from the Beagle Lady. Another quick video for you today because um, I know some of you have joined the group recently because of the fact that your beagle is whining, um, whining for attention, whining, 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 barking maybe for attention. Um, and this is something that we have been struggling with with Billy, our new adopted beagle, who we are into the third week now. Um, and it is a lot better in our house, a lot, lot better. Um, how did I achieve this? Okay with a lot of patience and I did contemplate getting some ear defenders at one point. So basically it's ignoring, completely ignoring everything that Billy has done um, when it comes to whining. And it is hard because Billy whined for everything. Whined, whined just for whining. Just basically whined, 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 whined. Um, we have quite a number of stair gates in our house, so they learn, our dogs learn boundaries. You know, stair gate at the bottom of the stairs, if I go upstairs, you stay downstairs until it's bedtime. Um, so Betty would bark and whine then. Betty would bark and whine the whole time I was upstairs. If I was in the kitchen, we have a stair gate on our kitchen, he could see me, he would still be whining, 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 whining. Um, so uh, it's basically a human-based created behavior something that will have crept up on you really really slowly and then bam you would have thought oh my god this is doing my head in um, and basically it would have been that the dog would have got what it wanted so it might have whined for your attention it might have whined for its dinner it might have whined to come in the house it might have whined um, when you were in the bathroom and then when you came out you gave it attention oh I'm so sorry I wasn't gone long um, all that kind of thing Dogs don't whine with each other. You'll notice this. Um, if you watch a pack, they very rarely, and it's usually the youngsters that do it. So it's um, some uh, a young puppy or a young adult in adolescence. Um, and what you'll notice is if they do whine at a dog because they want its attention, that dog completely blanks it. I mean, completely blanks it. And if the dog doesn't get the idea and is, uh, is persistent with its whining, then the dog may shout at it, ah, go away. And the dog's like, hey, I'm going. Don't shout, we don't need to shout. That's just dog behavior. We need to start learning from other animals and ignore. So we've had to ignore Billy quite a lot. So you go into the bathroom, he winds outside the door, come out of the door, ignore him. Don't give him eye contact, touching or speaking to him. When I come back down the stairs and he's whining at the bottom of the stairs, open the stair gate, walk past him, ignore him. When I'm in the kitchen and he, I'm preparing dinner and he's whining and he's whining and he's whining, then I ignore him the, compl the whole time. No eye contact, most important thing, no eye contact, because if you do give them eye contact, then that is enough attention for them to still keep the whining ingrained in their brain. Um, when he wanders off and goes into the uh, front room and, and settles on the sofa, good boy, Billy, you're such a good boy. So he's learning then that the attention that he wants, the you know the, the praise that he wants only comes when he is doing something that uh, we want him to do which is to settle whining at the back door doesn't come in until he stops initially it was a matter of seconds so they're whine 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 breath whine 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 on that breath open the door then you can extend that period of time of um, quietness before opening the door so now, whining wise, um, for Billy, we have got it down to food time. So he'll whine on whilst we're making his dinner. Or if um, I go out the front door, my God, he still goes crazy when I go out the front door. Or if I've got a stair, I've got a staircase on my back garden, uh, back door. If I go into the house without him, he'll whine still. So that's part of his separation anxiety. But he doesn't whine at the kitchen door anymore. He doesn't whine at the um, gate, stay gate at the bottom of the stairs. Tiny little bits every now and then, but I think that's just because, like I was saying, neural pathways, this is still there. It's becoming dormant, but it's still active. So every now and then it will rear its ugly head and he will go back to his behavior that he's always used, but we still ignore him. It's not easy. I'm not going to lie, three weeks is a long time to listen to a dog whining and ignore it. It is so worth it. If you can carry on, persevere, you'll have either a wine-free house, oh, I don't know about wine, but a whining-free house, or 
um, at least reduce it considerably. So it is really well worth doing it. It's um, it, it, Some days are going to be worse than others because your dog isn't going to want to give up his whining. It's worked for it for a very long time. But those are the days that you have to persevere even more. Those are the days that you have to um, give it your all and remember to ignore the whining. And I've said before in another video, one day last week, Billy's whining was off the Richter scale. Uh, he'd obviously decided that he didn't want to give up that behavior. He was going to do it longer, louder and harder. So I ended up going to bed early. I was just like, That's, I've had enough today. Um, so you just do what you need to do to cope with uh, this period of time. And it doesn't happen overnight. Um, you know, we're in week three and there are still times with Billy's whining that um, hopefully at some point that will start to dissipate or completely eliminate as well. If you need any more help with regards to uh, eliminating whining behaviour, please feel free to comment below um, and I'm happy to um, speak to you about it. Okay, take care for now. Bye bye.